person's last name? I'm Tamika Walker. Okay, and you are ma'am? Casey Ford. Casey Ford. Okay, I'm gonna start with Tamika. Tamika, tell me a little bit about what's going on. My battery may go back there because I've been doing a lot of filming, but we're gonna try to do it before it does. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna, hopefully I can borrow Al's again if it does. <laughs> I'll tell you what, is it on the plugs up against the wall? Uh, uh, is, is this it right here, the one that's laying on the floor? It won't reach that with a will. Okay, well, let me go ahead. Now, I'll just plug it in if it goes. Uh, Tamika, tell me a little bit about what's going on uh, with Paradise for the people that don't know. Um, well, Paradise Salon was in, uh, was in Redbird Mall. Uh, Redbird Mall, I guess that's what you want to call it. And uh, was in Redbird Mall, and we all we know is that they told us that we had to get out the mall. Uh, we had so many days to get out the mall, and so um, when we once we got out the mall, I'm in beauty school inside the mall at the dormant beauty school, and so um, I was still going to the beauty school at the mall. Paradise had evacuated, had already left the place, and they put up the signs saying that it had, uh, it was warning signs about the vestics, and we was, so I went back and told the rest of the ladies, and then the ladies, one of the ladies, Deborah, had already knew about it, and so um, we was trying to figure out why we didn't know about it. Everybody had to start feeling sick prior to this. Um, like, I only been there nine months, but they have been there years, years, like nine years. And so they had been sick immediately since they moved in the place. So you, 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 you've been there how long? I've been there nine months. Nine months. Mm -hmm. And in that nine months, you, do you feel like you've been exposed? I feel like I've been exposed. Um, I've, I've been to the emergency room like six times. I have documentation. I have uh, doctor's letters. I've been going back and forth to my um, primary care, trying to find out what's going on with my breathing. It's just, it's like, it's getting worse and worse. And so... Um, and you attribute that to the working conditions at Redbird Mall? Yes. Yes. Very you firmly much so. believe that? I firmly believe that. I was not... Uh, I didn't have problems with my breathing like I am now. So do you think you could have been... I'm on oxygen. Do you think you could have been exposed during that renovation they did 2011 that, that they say is still in the air from them renovating Paradise right. from the dollar store to, yes. to now? Yes. Okay. Yes. So do I you feel, totally do you feel that, that. The, the mall has done the right thing by leaving the mall occupied while they're removing that no, asbestos? No, no. They should have evacuated the mall and removed all that. It's still people coming in there every day. It's still people shopping in there. It's still people working in there. Our school is still in there. We go to school every day in there. We go to school every day. And we have to we have to smell the fumes and all the other stuff. We, I took pictures of uh, the workers working without any protective gloves, clothing, or anything on. And also took pictures of them selling sheetrock to some individuals just the other day. And they told to me I could take... Contaminated toxic sheetrock? Yes. You believe? Yes. You sure of that? Yes. I took pictures of it. And they told me I could not take have my pictures. Uh, I could not be taking pictures. I needed to get out the property, but they couldn't exploit me out the property because I am a student there. Interesting. So, do you feel that? Um, the, uh, did I ask you if the mall should have been closed? Yeah, the mall should have been closed. The mall should. When they start breaking that stuff up, it's airborne. It ain't no ceilings in that mall. Everything is is open. So when when. Including well, next, your front door to paradise. Even including the front door to paradise. Because y'all didn't have a front door. It was a gate. It was a gate. And the gate had was holes in it. So whatever was in there was in there. Wasn't contained in, even through glass doors or wooden exactly. doors. It so it's floating all through the mall. Floating all through the mall. And everybody is getting contaminated. Now behind. now I found out that black mastic is the glue that they use to seal those floors in the seventies. And they took up those floors 
from Paradise when it was a dollar store doing the renovation. And that's where the asbestos was in the flooring, underneath in the glue. So when they ripped that vinyl up, they shook up and disturbed that asbestos then. Yes. And it's been yes. in the air for the past eight years in that ventilation yes. system. Yes, yes. That's why y'all been getting yes. sick. Yes, and that's why we've been getting sick. That's and, exactly and, and why it's, we've and, been and getting it's probably, sick. And see, they didn't do no asbestos survey or notification then like they did now to get the asbestos removed. Because well, guess what, Tamika? If they had done that, it would have been removed then and they wouldn't have to exactly. remove it now. I believe that wholeheartedly. And Evolve. also, you know, uh, why wasn't it a, a test done before Paradise was moved in there? Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they check before before they uh, let new tenants in the building? Why didn't they do that? So what do you think should happen now moving forward with, with, with you, the, the group, the mall, everything. What do you think should happen? One, two, three. Shut it down. Shut that mall down. And you believe quit killing, it. Quit killing us. That's all they're doing. Killing us black people. Slowly. Black lungs matter. Not just black people. Black lungs matter. See, it, it don't matter to them because uh, they, don't have to, they don't have to be there every day. When do you see any of them council men in the, at the Red Bear Mall? When they came for the groundbreaking, they only was outside. They ain't never been in the, around there in Helling or nothing like that. So, yeah, shut it down. And so what about the impact it's going to have on the community? How do you feel about that? If they stores. do shut it down. What would you say, ma'am? There's only a few stores. It's yeah. only a few stores. Rebuild it. If you want to build up the community, take that down and put something else that that will help education and stuff. Yeah, they said they was putting just on the top floors they was going to have for schooling uh, at the Red Bear Mall. Okay, but you're going to put kids over there in that neighborhood, people, crazy people coming in the mall all day, and you trust them around your babies. So what would you say to the mayor, Rollins, the, the, the current mayor, and the new Mayor Eric Johnson that's getting ready to come in about this situation. What would you tell him? Because you know this is the I, mayor's project, and plus, you got you got your money. The mayor don't care about us. He don't care about us. Say no, that again. I, I was I talking care. when you was talking. I'm Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go I ahead. I said I don't care about the mayor. The mayor don't care about us. We are his people. He is not. Did, he haven't did anything for us uh, so far concerning that mall. Look how long it's been um, going downhill. And they just now want to do something to it. Do do something to it by turning it, tearing it down and starting fresh. Build something new for our community. That's if you want to do something, build something new for our community. But first, you're gonna respect the ones that has already been there. Exactly. So what? So so what would you tell Eric Johnson, the incoming mayor? I hope he ain't as sorry as the ones that's leaving out. That's mm. what I want to tell him. And, 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 and Peter Brosnick, it's his decision and, and his discretion to leave them all open during the re removal of the process. As the owner of that mall, what would you tell him? Uh, do his family come over there and shop? When he start bringing his family over there to inhale the, the, the fumes and all that, then we might respect him even more and help him build something else. But... He don't bring his family over there. He haven't even. He don't even be over there. So, you know, Peter Brosnick is getting millions and millions of TIF money to help develop and redevelop that mall to the tune of almost twenty million or more, which is tax money from the city. So it's a public-private partnership. So that means the public got part ownership in that facility going up. So it it it, it should be a, a safe environment since you got an investment in it. I would imagine. It's your money and my money, tax money. It's tax money, but uh, I don't think he see it that way, though. I don't think he see it that way. Now, in closing, my love.